Gearheads, gearheads, gearheads! Hey, welcome to Gearheads. I'm Nick Harris, DJ Product Specialist for Chauvet. Today we're gonna to talk about dry ice and how it can make your gig better. Gear. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about where you can get it. Dry ice is available in a lot of different places. You can get it at grocery stores, hardware stores, industrial supply stores. Um, you can also find it online and on, in your yellow pages. Gear. Once you figure out where to get your dry ice, you gotta figure out a way to transport it. It's actually really easy to do. All you gotta do is keep air from getting to the dry ice. So this will work with a, a standard cooler, like a styrofoam cooler you can buy at any grocery store or department store, or the way we like to transport it is with our little cooler that we take to all of our trade shows. This little guy right here. It's really nice and easy. It's got wheels on it. It's really, really easy to transport and uh, keeps it nice and cool. You gotta worry about your dry ice evaporating, so something that seals up pretty well is a good idea. Gear. Now that you have a way to transport the dry ice, you need a way to make it fit the unit that you're actually using. Here we have our Nimbus Junior and our Big Nimbus. If you buy the dry ice in either pellet or, or block form, you may need a mallet to smash it up, make it into smaller pieces. You want to put it into smaller pieces because it gets more surface area on the hot water and a lot more cloud effect coming out of whatever units you use. Um, once it's in the pellet form, you may need a scooper to go ahead and scoop it out and then put it into the units that you have. Um, if you do use a mallet, I would recommend using some safety glasses because there are little pieces that come flying off there. And to move it around, you got to have gloves, so it's going to be really, really cold. You want to make sure you protect your hands from getting frostbite. Um, otherwise, it's really easy to move around and transport, and now we're going to show you how to do it. Gear. Okay, we're going to smash up our dry ice now. As you can see, we buy it in the brick form, and because I got my gloves on, it's not going to freeze me. So we'll put it here on the ground. I'm going to make sure you have it a nice, sturdy surface where you won't hurt it. All right, now that you got it broken up into pieces uh, smaller than about an inch in diameter, put it back in the cooler, get it ready for you to use. Gear. All right, so now that you've mashed up the dry ice, got it to the smaller pellets, we're ready to shoot it off in our Nimbus machine that we have here. We put it on our Nimbus cart to make it really nice and easy to get it around a dance floor, or if you wanna go crazy on Halloween, you can dress up as a mad scientist. <laughs> I mean, it's really cool. We'll scoop out some dry ice using the scoop we talked about earlier, and put it into our Nimbus. The Nimbus takes about 10 pounds of dry ice and about five gallons of water. It's got two settings, high and low. We'll shoot it low first, just to show you how it performs. You want to make sure that the tops are nice and shut too so they don't leak out. You only get the cloud out effect out into the front. And we'll do our full blast. There we go. Absolutely great effect. Gear. Now we're going to do a shot of dry ice with our Nimbus Junior. It takes about five pounds of dry ice. Our Nimbus Junior, just like our Nimbus, has two settings. You can go low or use the high output. You get a little bit more output on the high setting, so a little bit less time on the output, but on the low setting, it'll last a lot longer, um, but it won't fill the room quite as quickly. As you can see, it's not dangerous, it's not gonna hurt you, very safe. Gear. Today we showed you an easy solution to use dry ice to create a cloud effect for your wedding, Halloween party, or anything you can think of with the Nimbus Junior and the Nimbus with the Nimbus cart. Thanks for tuning in to Gearheads. We'll see you next time. Gearheads, Gearheads, Gearheads.